Hey everybody, uh, it's me again. Um, today I can show you what you guys I made. Um, electrical lights, actually capable of um, taking up to 100 volts before they give. And, um, they're well, pretty fun actually. Yeah. Um, they, are com they are completely on my hand, you know, on standard cotton. Yeah, cotton glove is completely cotton. Um, I just stitched in some wires. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but uh, uh, there you are. And I stitched these things in. And now, to prove that these work, I'm going to show you. But before I do that, uh, if you notice, at each end there's like a little enamel coated wire which has been scraped off the of nail. And one over here, which is used as a ground point or a neutral wire. Um, yeah. So here we go, and um, I'm gonna hook up my ground just to make sure I'm safe. All right, all right. So this is my ground wire, which is grounded. All right, that's on to here. Now I'm on. Clicking switch, and you guys know the power switch, right? Pretty much the same thing as last time. It's just sparks, 100 volts, 125 actually, but. Whatever. Right, here we go. Mm -hmm. That's five months time. Um, this is the arc for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll explain a little more about, about the power source in about a few minutes. Um, but as you can see, you can drop three long power to a hundred volts or so. And if you want here, I'll just put it down a little lower, bring it a little closer. Ready? Okay. My energy on squat. So. This is how to make a glove, well, uh, and I'll tell you how to do one. It's pretty simple. Just take some enamel wire, I don't know, maybe uh, one yard, maybe two. I don't know, if you want extra two, go ahead, go long, leave the end, go ahead, two yards. And take a needle, standard stick needle. Just don't forget to glove off. I'm not stupid poking stuff in the needle. But, um, Take the needle, you put the wire through it, you kind of start looping your way in, and just loop yourself in that it's thick and it doesn't, you know, like uh, when you say it doesn't fall apart when you use it. And if you notice, I have full flexibility in here. So completely. And these are nothing. These are little gloves, standard gloves, you know, hooked up. I just put one through each of the leads, which lead up to the middle part of each. Here. Okay? So, pretty simple, you know, but, and, uh, so I can go weep up and down, up and down, cue into the end open, feed the two and off, you can all, you know, then feed each one off again, nice and round, then sand off each end, you know, here, here, here. And after that, uh, I guess you're ready, and the best thing about this is, you don't even have to have ground point. Watch, no ground point, nothing, right? I'm not even ground. I'm off the ground. You my feet. All right? Okay. Here we go. All right, that he was on the ground. You don't feel much at all. Mhm. Mm and not too much at all. It is a pretty fun thing to try out, and. Uh, Here's something else you guys want to want, want to try. Oh, let me check. I probably shouldn't do this here, but oh well. Alright. Gonna burn. You see that? I'm 
see that? Burnt. But nothing much. Just pretend on that. It won't shock me. Now it's explained the power switch, that's what's the right way. Hold on. Okay. You notice the power switch is pretty simple. You know, it's old fashioned. Black and white. Huh? What you gotta do is just take, I don't know, as much wire as you want to do. Take some wires, so wrapping it around. This is actually um, a TC or a Tesla cord. So what you can do is you can actually slowly wrap it around. What you're doing is you're converting the video waves that are used by a second course back into a pretty simple few rounds. Nothing big, but yeah. yeah. Don't try anything like you know, melt the base when I did that. It did not turn out good. So thank you for watching and um